It's getting a little bit close to Christmas, so let's not leave everything to last minute. Let's get your business and your branding ready for that holiday season. Just because your business is all online and you don't have that physical store to dress up, put the lights on and the Christmas trees up to get it all ready for that holiday season, doesn't mean that you can't still spruce up your business and your branding to get it in that festive mood. It'll help create buzz and excitement and that celebration feeling that everyone's feeling. And it'll also help get people in the mood for, you know, that holiday buying and, you know, that whole Christmas feeling. It's really great to just add little things to your branding to get it in that fun festive mood. So first up, why not add some little Christmassy elements to your website? I've even seen, you know, big stores do this. Like the shop that I used to do all my online grocery shopping on, at Christmas time they'd start adding little stars and little Christmassy things. And you can do the same with your own website. It doesn't have to be over the top and a complete revamp just for Christmas. It can just be little things. If you have a sliding banner, maybe you could add a few stars or Christmassy elements. Or maybe on your logo, you could maybe add a little Santa hat. It doesn't have to be complex, just fun little things that just add that fun little festive feeling. And find ways to tie into your actual branding. So if the colors green and red, those Christmassy colors don't suit your brand colors, think about using more metallics or other things that will mix well with your branding. It doesn't have to be part of your branding, but something that will blend well with your branding so it doesn't look out of place, but it just lifts that festive mood. And then in general, you can just add festive touches to your logo in other ways. So if you're sending out invoices or you're going to an event where you're going to be handing out heaps of business cards, anything that's going to be showing your logo off during that time, it's great to add that little festive touches to your logo. And it doesn't have to be overdone either. It can be, you know, little baubles, little stars, a little Santa hat, string lights or snowflakes, just little things that just add that little bit of festive touch. Or maybe your logo could suddenly change to gold or you know, red and green, whatever you think that will make it fun for Christmas. And then when it comes to your social media, why not create social media templates with a bit of a Christmassy vibe to them? You may have been using the same templates all year and people have got really used to them. So suddenly having a little bit of a festive touch to it will catch people's attention. Maybe you're going to keep the same fonts or, you know, same layout so that there's still a familiar touch to it. But then you've got this spark of fun, you know, it could be some lot of stars, it could be, you know, some cute antlers, whatever it is that just adds that little touch and captures people's attention. So as they're scrolling through and they see yourself, they're like, oh, that's a bit different. And, you know, it just catches their attention and adds to that festive mood. And by preparing actual templates before we get too close to Christmas, it means that you're not going to be caught out last minute when you decide you want to have some sort of promo around that time of year and you've got templates ready to go. You've got something there so you can really quickly make that promo, get it out and share it with people. And then another great idea is holiday season themed photography and stock photography. So whether you take the photos yourself or if you buy stock photos, start stocking up on some photos that have a bit of a festive feel to them. Keeping it with your usual brand feel and vibe, but just adding that more festive touch. These are going to be great for your social media and for putting on your website or for using for promos, whatever you normally will use stock photos for, then, you know, have ones that are a little bit more festive. Even if it's on blog posts, obviously if you're putting up blog posts that are a little bit more evergreen, you might not want to use them in them. But if you've got blog posts coming up that are a lot more Christmas focused, then you want to have photos there ready to go that fit with your branding, but also have that festive vibe. So this could be for posts that are talking about promotions coming up or plans you have for the following year or reflections on how the year went or it could be gift guides and fun things like that. And then if you're selling physical products, it's a great idea to switch things up for the festive season. A lot of people are gonna be buying things as gifts or maybe even those cheeky gifts for themselves. So it's gonna be a lot more fun and you're gonna make things better, easier for them because they're not having to worry about wrapping if you're wrapping things up and adding Christmas touches when you're sending your parcels out. Obviously, you don't want to go nuts and spend heaps of money on it, but it can always just be simple things. Like if normally you're wrapping a bow with pink bows, maybe you switch to gold bows. Maybe you're just adding a tag that has a Christmassy feel to it. Or, you know, putting in a postcard that has Merry Christmas and hope you had a great year. Thanks for supporting our business. Whatever it is, adding those little cool wrappings is really great. And if you don't sell physical products, maybe sending out a special little Christmassy gift to you know your best clients during the year or you know people that have just 
really supported your business throughout the year, just to touch base with them and give them something special. So take the time to think about the graphics that you can include in that. So it could be a special postcard or a special business card or some examples of things that your business has done throughout the year. So make it fun and playful and make it something that suits your branding but has that festive touch. Get creative. It's a great time for you to just really get creative and have some fun. And then think about any other print material that you're going to be using at this time of year, whether it's coupons or flyers, postcards or little thank you notes, whatever stuff that you're either regularly putting out there and want to change up for this time of year, or if you're only putting it out there at this time of year, make sure you make it fun and festive. Plus, it's a chance to get super creative again what about like an advent calendar where you rip it open and people can get different discounts as they open each one? Get creative, have fun with it. Think about how you can intertwine those little festive fun things and really perk people's imagination and get them excited about your business. And finally, some seasonal freebies on Christmas cards. So what can you give people as a gift? So if you want to keep it all digital and all online and you don't want to give people physical things, what can you give them that suits your business for free? It could be things like gift tags that they can print off and put on their you know, Christmas presents and put under the tree or give to their friends and family. And it's got something to do with your branding. So obviously you don't want to be plastering your website all over it and make it too overbranded. Just little things that can help them remember what your business is all about. So if you've got a business that's all about um, empowering people or you know, inspiring people, what about putting fun, inspiring quotes on it? Or if you're doing things for kids, why not put, you know, fun kids types of illustrations that are Christmassy and festive. So think about how it ties into your branding and how you can really have fun and create something special for your audience. Or you could do Christmas cards too. They can be printed and you can send them out to, you know, your clients or special customers. Or it can even be digital Christmas cards. So just, you know, creating one of those online e-card type things and sending it out to people. So have a lot of fun, get creative at this time of year and start making your brand graphics a little bit more festive and fun. It's a great time to just play and get in that festive celebration mood and have fun with it. And if you want more tips about branding and graphic design, be sure to subscribe to this channel. See you next week.